today we're having a very special oh, exhibition, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, for many, many months, we've been very dedicated. We've had a very super yeah. Bobby, Bobby sorting out all the artwork. The artwork is on the walls, and the actual mayor of Warrington is coming at five o'clock to open the exhibition. And we're all very proud of the work that they have done. Uh, we're also selling cards, which Lucy has been putting in packs <laughs> for a long while, haven't you, Lucy? Yeah. Well, last year you were packing up the cars and putting ladies <laughs> on the back. And Keith, Keith has worked very hard over this last year. He's managing the sellotape machine, which is a frightful thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oliver produces cool and exciting art and displays delicate brush strokes and strong confidence with colour. Totally focused on making his own choices on content and structure in each unique painting. Oliver is enthusiastic about art and this clearly shows in each piece he produces. Adam is very enthusiastic about learning new artists and how they paint. Adam has a great passion for developing new skills when producing artwork. His work displays an excellent use of colour and this helps to produce exciting, well-balanced pieces. Jonathan has great confidence in producing paintings and experimenting with colours. He has produced cool works of art with a unique line quality to each. Jonathan has a great imagination and uses this in producing art that shows energy and movement. As an artist, Becky has a great imagination and produces art that shows energy and movement. Becky has developed her own unique style that creates exciting and interesting composition. Robert has joyful enthusiasm for painting and mark making. He produces work which shows a developed unique style of brush strokes and texture. Robert has developed good self-esteem in experimenting with techniques and is confident in his own style of art. Lauren produces interesting works of art with great enthusiasm. Her imagination and positive attitude shows in her work and seems to really enjoy art and getting to know different styles and techniques used by the great artist. Andrea has developed a great understanding of colours and uses them to produce exciting textures within her work. She shows vision of how to arrange images to create an interesting piece of art. A big thank you to these seven artists that have just been <laughs> inspirational and they've put on a magnificent exhibition and I hope you all agree it's just been, the work is just outstanding. So a big round of applause well to you. Well. I can't even begin to try and tell you how dedicated and motivated they've all been and they're just a total inspiration to me and I'm so proud to be part of it. And thank you again for letting me be part of it. Um, an absolute joy. So before I actually welcome the Mayor, um, I'm going to introduce you to one of the artists, our lovely Oliver here. Um, and he's just going to say a few words about the work that they've done throughout the six months on this skill set. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Oliver because he can talk better than me. <laughs> that's all right. Good, good evening. Good evening and welcome to the, the McIntyre Art Gallery. I would like to, to tell you about what we have learned. We learned about Picasso, Mondrian, Van Gogh, Kaninsky and many more things like, like missing colours, brush strokes and also my, my favourite is flicking the paint. <laughs> 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 Um, just like to say to McIntyre, um, really this, this is a, a fantastic facility that you've 
put together here. Um, when it first opened, I was passing by and, and popped in and had a look, and I really was amazed at the quality of work that was on display. And when I found out it was all local artists, um, that really sort of um, struck a chord with me. Um,